Some people might ask me, Randall, why are you discussing this? This is so intense. I'm going to tell you why. Fear. Part of it is fear. I'm afraid of two things. One, I am afraid that it's going to come to violence, a sh shooting. I don't know how, when, where, but I'm afraid that it's coming to that or that it will come to that. I'm afraid it will. I pray it doesn't. The second thing I'm afraid of is that there's not enough people who think right if the time comes to that. I was explaining this to people the other day, you know, those who are saying that well, our Second Amendment is to oppose the government. I said, look, this is not an even playing field anymore, okay? Speed of travel, ability to spy, communications, the, the, the sheer size of the armaments and the number of people on the payroll who are involved in law enforcement, or any number of areas that involve the ability to pick up firearms against civilians. <laughs> the American people would be in rough shape. So I fear that it could happen. And I fear that if it needed to happen, there's not enough people that are ready or even get it. Let me kind of bring this around on a political level. I, I, the reason I am so involved in politics and the reason I urge you to be involved in politics is because I'm a Christian. It's because Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He is the lawgiver of the universe. Politics is Christ's realm. All right. He has a legitimate, read Psalm 2, read Psalm 110. I'm not going to take the time to go over them now, but you read them for yourself. The church has always held that Jesus Christ has supreme authority in the affairs of this world, including the governments of men. That's why I'm so preoccupied with it. And another reason is because of all the four governments that God established, self-government, family government, civil government, and church government, the one that can do the most damage to us and our families, our churches, our individuals is the civil government. Because God authorized them at the get-go from in Romans 13 to have the sword and even prior to that. So, they can wreak the most havoc. And historically, as you look over the, the sweep of history of the human race, it has been tyrants with weapons that have done the most damage to the human race. The end. The end. Thank God when weaponry got into the hands of righteous people and they could overthrow the tyrants. That's why I'm so nervous. And the other reason I'm nervous and I'm talking about these, these, these things is because the field of candidates at every level is, with a few exceptions, is so abysmal. And people are so committed to bread and circuses that I hear people compare Donald Trump to Hillary Clinton and say that they would vote for Clinton. And I'm thinking, I, I, you know, Donald Trump, I, I haven't figured the guy out yet, but I figured out Hillary. And if you're saying to me that you would vote for Hillary, there's something wrong with your ethical train, your ethical brain, your ethics, something's wrong.